Okay, this video goes out to all you helicopter guys out there who may be interested in trying the Stingray or have gotten a Stingray or just starting to fly it. Uh, speaking as a helicopter pilot, the way a Stingray flies is quite a bit different in some areas. Uh, so I just want to explain the differences and why they're different to help you and get the most enjoyment out of the Stingray. The biggest thing, of course, initially is there's four rotors. Uh, helicopter about this same general size and footprint in the air uh, is going to have blades one single blade about this big turning over the entire model whereas this has the four smaller blades. Now why this is really significant is the inertia of the rotor system. This is spinning two big long blades with a lot of lead in them at fairly high RPM uh, which is a lot of energy. When you're doing things that energy can both hurt you and help you depending on what you're doing. If you've done a lot of helicopter flying you've learned how to avoid the places where this inertia hurts you and how to take advantage of the places where this inertia helps you. One place this helps you with a helicopter is when you're doing like rainbows and tiktoks where you can pop and change position and direction you can spool up a lot of blade energy with RPM and pop. Use that energy with a lot of pop to pop through things. The places where inertia doesn't help you as much is when you're doing quick transitions like quick flips and quick turns the motor will tend to load more if you stay in those loading turns because of the inertia, the blade doesn't want to keep changing position. It'll start loading off. So, for example, if you start loading with collective and at the same time start loading heavily with cyclic, you can quickly start bogging the motor down because of the combination of the controls. With the Stingray, it doesn't have this high blade inertia. The place that not having the blade inertia, inertia hurts you is in the places that it's having inertia helps a helicopter. Since you don't have the blade inertia, when you go to do hard rainbows and hard tiktoks, you don't have stored energy in the blades, so you immediately go to only motor power. So when you go to pop it, it's, the response is dependent completely on your motor. So if you go to pop it and you load it, if that motor starts to slow down, all it's going to do is continue to slow down from there. You have to get the load out of it. Whereas with a helicopter, when you pop it, you have, you have that blade energy and you immediately use that blade energy, the engine doesn't have to do much. Now if you stay in it with a helicopter and you use up your blade energy and now you're only on the motor, that's when you feel the slowdown. Well, that point where you've used up the blade energy and then you're starting to get into the motor is exactly where the Stingray starts when you're talking about doing TikTok stuff. It's always on the motor. There's not blade energy to use up. So that's where it doesn't respond as well when you try to do extreme helicopter things the way you would do it with a helicopter. The place not having inertia helps is in those quick rolling transitions. So let's say you did a, a, a TikTok with this and you even hear the motor slow down a little bit. If that was a helicopter you would never want to add cyclic because it would really load down. But with a Stingray when you go into that position you can immediately give cyclic and it doesn't change your motor loading because it doesn't have the blade inertia resisting its um, motion. Also when you do a maneuver with this model what it does is it takes lift out of one rotor and shifts it to another rotor. So when you're doing a cyclic input, you're not generally changing the loading, the total loading, you're simply changing where the loading is occurring. So you don't tend to change the motor load. So as you're, you're going along and flying and giving quick rolls and quick flips and other things, you're not really loading the motor hardly at all with this ball. So you can, be, you can take off and do flipping maneuvers all the way through a continuous flight. Your motor won't be any hotter. It, it, the flight time will be about the same. It doesn't mind continuous and, and uh, fast and erratic mo movements on cyclic because it doesn't care. But it doesn't care. Whereas a helicopter with a lot of blade inertia won't like that as much as you continue. You're going to have to have a really powerful system to do that. So to a large degree the Stingray will do all kinds of really great maneuvers but the style with which you do it with a helicopter doesn't exactly translate. You've got to stay out of collective uh, you don't rely on collective as your marker for whether you have power. Because with a helicopter, you'll often go in and if you if you go to load a helicopter, like you do a TikTok and it loads, what you'll tend to do then is stay out of cyclic as much. You'll go a little slower into cyclic and kind of get into kind of loopy flying. So it's kind of milk the motor through stuff so you're not loading it too hard. You get into that, I'm just going to stay out of cyclics because I found with collective it's loading too hard. Well, if you use that reaction with the Stingray, you'll go to load, you go to do something, you hear it load a little bit, and you start staying out of the cyclic, and you actually start loading it more because you start relying on collective, and you start loading the motor even more. So your your 
reaction or uh, inherent response as a helicopter pilot is slightly wrong with the Stingray. The, the, you don't rely on collective to tell you what kind of power you have when you're going to then give cyclics, because cyclics generally don't rob power. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting used to the Stingray, getting used to how it is different, taking advantage of the things that it's really, really good at, which is a lot of fast cyclic responses, even in forward flight as you're flying fast forward flight. Uh, with a helicopter as you're going maybe sideways or whatever, if you're going sideways into the wind, and you want to flip it over, as you flip, you're going to have to give a lot of pitch to drive it into the wind and push through. With a Stingray, it doesn't really care as much. It's got a little bit of that, but not nearly as much. And if you go and drive it like you're trying to drive a helicopter, you're actually going to load this thing down for no reason. You're just kind of wasting power that it, you didn't need to use. Uh, and it'll slow down. Whereas if you're just flying and just roll, it's fine. It'll just go on through. Same with TikToks with this. You don't need to do sweeping, climbing TikToks. You can just stay in one place. Do roll TikToks. You get very little collective at all. You can do sweepier ones if you want to, but it doesn't require nearly as much collective punch as you would do with the helicopter. So you, you just stay out of the collective some in a lot of the maneuvers, take advantage of its very fast cyclic response, and be aware that it's not going to have the blade inertia to, to take advantage of on the ends when you do pop like you would with the helicopter. Uh, the tracking forward flight, it doesn't really have stability issues like the helicopter does with the big disc. Helicopters, a lot of times at high speed, you get going and they'll bite, they'll pop. Uh, this has a very tiny bit of that, but very little. With the smaller discs, um, the, the stiffer system as far as the short blades, it doesn't really have that instability you would find in helicopters. You can go along the ground at really high speeds, do really tight turns at high speeds, and it doesn't get unstable. It's not going to yank on you or go into the ground or anything. It, it tracks really, really well, makes it respond very well in wind because it stays very stable and doesn't have any instability issues. So it's really just getting used to how it's different and enjoying that, having fun with it. Uh, it's similar enough to a helicopter that your control directions and what you move to do what is the same, but the way it responds to what you're doing while you're doing it is different. Just get used to that and it's a lot of fun.